the graduates. It is an opportunity to see results of the labor we have put into these last years, whether it was in preparing others or ourselves for the world after graduation. Tonight, we take time to reflect, to recognize the foundation we have built under the guidance of the people who have come to celebrate this event. As much as this is a special moment for the seniors, it is also a tribute to our families and the educators who have helped us along the way. While graduation is a recognition of academic achievement, these 186 graduates have been much more than students. Many of us have been athletes, musicians, painters, sculptors, actors, orators, or participants in the dozens of other activities in and out of high school. The diploma is a tangible item representing an intangible investment of time and effort. It is customary to look back to graduation, but that is not the direction we will take. Our paths lie ahead in an uncertain future. They curve into the undergrowth described in Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken which will be the theme of our commencement exercises. As we listen to the speakers this evening, we see that that road divides before us, that we will no longer travel together, and while our paths will cross again, from this hour forward, the road not taken will mean something different for each of us. <coughs> Semper College in the fall. 
Phil Langstrad has been a member of the Indianola School Board for three years and currently serves as its president. He is a graduate of Knoxville High School and Westmore College. He is now a broker for Edward D. Jones and Company. He and his wife, Karen, have three daughters. Jolene and Brenda are graduates of Indianola High School and Jana will be a junior next year. Now, Adam. in the yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both, and be one traveler long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better plan, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, and leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubt if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the road less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. We are all gathered here today to participate in and witness a very important step in our lives. This is the culmination of our education so far. Up to this point, we've all been educated together. We have all taken the same route. We've all been down the same road. From this point on, we will no longer take the same road. We, as high school graduates, must begin to make our own decisions that will affect us the rest of our lives. These decisions not only denote responsibility, but also freedom.
I would like to take this opportunity to share my favorite quote with you. Martin Luther King once said, there comes a time when you must take a position that is neither safe nor popular, but you do it because it is right. As you, the graduates of the class of 1993 Leave High School and enter the world of adults, you will be faced with many decisions. The poem the senior speakers have
Robert James Fox. Mason James Brown. Laura Martine Fuller. Michael James Fuller. Daisy Lynn Dowden. Catherine Elizabeth Gangstead. Kara Diane Gebhardt. William Henry Gilbert. Rebecca Lynn Goodhue. Christopher Allen Goodrich. Tiffany Suzanne Grandstaff. Rudolph Allen Hanson Gray. Glenn Allen Gooley. Emily Jane Calgren. Christina Victoria Hall. Scott Phillips Hammond. Mitchell L. Hamrick. Haley Elizabeth Hansen. Heather Joy Hansen. Barry J. Hartman. Amy Marie Paul. And Michelle Kennedy. Molly Sue Higgins. Deidre Marie Heineken. Jason Eric Hoffman. Michael Thomas Hoover. Kira Nicole Hopkins. Yeah, Kira! Woo! Christian Lee Hopkins. Melissa Ann Houston. Jason Ryan Howe. Jessica Hemrick Hunt. Jennifer Lynn Hutchinson. Reggie Pike. Tisha Annette Irving. Jesse Neal Iverson. Jill Marie Johnson. Brian W. Jones. Jacqueline Ann Jones. Joey E. Jones. Christy Ann Jocelyn. <laughs> Matilda K. Rydia. Shane R. K. Cat. Ryan Eugene Keeble. Michelle Lee Keenan. Amy Michelle King. Troy Lee King. Jonathan M. Clothwhite. Lucas D. Coolman. Alisa John Clark.
Christopher Lee Schneer.
our friends and family along the paths we will choose. This is our last moment together as class. Never again will we be assembled in such a manner. As we depart, let us recognize our achievements, treasure our memories, and focus on tomorrow.